Hello everyone, I'm going to read Little Penguin's Big Adventure. Little Penguin was bored with making friends out of snow. I'll just sit here and wait for something exciting to happen, he said. So Little Penguin waited and waited, but nothing happened at all. Suddenly a seagull swooped down. You need to find an adventure, he said. Where's adventure? said the penguin. The seagull pointed to a small red boat bobbing on the sea. I think it's that way, he said. On the small red boat, little penguin asked the captain a question. Do you know the way to adventure? The captain twiddled his blisters. I think it's that way, he said, pointing to a distant desert island. Went the wind as the waves slapped and slapped at the small red boat. Woo! It went again as the great sea swelled and rolled. Soon Little Penguin felt very, very sick. Little Penguin hopped off the small red boat at a desert island. Shiver me timbers, cried a fierce pirate captain and his mad pirate crew, who happened to be passing. He's after our treasure. I'm just trying to find adventure, replied Little Penguin. Can you show me the way, please? Arr, it'll be that way, said the pirate captain, swishing his cutlass to point at his ship. On the pirate ship, there was a lot of swabbing on the decks, eating the ship's biscuits and sailing the seven seas. But where is adventure? asked the Little Penguin. It'll be that way, said the captain crafty captain, pointing to a plank that poked out to sea. Little Penguin walked along the plank until, splash! Down, down he went to the bottom of the sea, but he wasn't alone. Hello, said a shark with his best sharky smile. Uh, do you know where the way to adventure? asked the little penguin nervously. Go that way, replied the shark, but you'd better be quick. Snap, snap, snap. Little Penguin swam as fast as he could. He darted and dashed under the coral, over the reef, behind the rocks and whoosh, out of the sea. Wee! into a tree. Ooh, went some cheeky monkey swinging by. Do you know where I can find adventure? Asked Little Penguin. Oh yes, replied the naughty monkeys. Ooh, 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 and making a racket. It's that way, they said, pointing to the bush. The bush was quiet. There was hardly a sound. Only the leaves rustled and the parrot squawked. And it was very, very still until... Roar! went the lion who was hiding there. Little penguin ran and ran as fast as he could through the trees, by the waterhole and down the hill. There were hisses and snaps and snorts and squawks. Which way to adventure? cried Little Penguin as he sped fast the flamingos. I think it's that way, said the flamingo leader, pointing to a sailing boat. Little Penguin jumped upon onto the boat and sailed off down the river. The river grew wider and became the ocean and before too long a great storm blew. Boom! Flash! Crash! Poor little penguin was all alone. I don't want to find adventure anymore, cried little penguin, and he began to cry. He missed his mummy and daddy. He missed being bored and sitting on his rock and twiddling his flippers. I want to go home, he sobbed. Just then, a great white whale sprayed seawater from his spout. Swoosh! Don't cry, little penguin, he said. I know exactly where home is, and he pointed to an iceberg far, far away. So Little Penguin jumped on his back and off they went. At home, his mummy and daddy were waiting on the shore. Where have you been, Little Penguin, they asked. It's nearly bedtime. Little Penguin told them all about the places he had been. It sounds like you've had a found adventure, said Dad. Squawk? went the seagull and little penguin smiled. Yes, I think I did. 
but I don't want to go there again. There's nothing better than being at home. With that, little penguin snuffled down for a long and dreamy sleep. The end.